All right, so what I want to do today is I want to give you kind of a quick overview on how to um, connect BeatMaker 3 uh, to external sense. I have a circuit, an AS1 from Pioneer, and a Korg Minilog. So what you're going to do first is you're going to go into your sample view, pick your first bank, and you're going to have to load a sample. It um, doesn't really matter. Uh, all we're going to do is trim it down to just pure silence. And then from the sampler view on that particular bank, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into MIDI setup. You're going to go find your device. So here's my circuit. And we'll go back and then pick the channel that we want to actually play on. So that when I'm here, I have it. And then when I go to the actual bank, it's there on the pad. And then if I switch to keys, okay. What's great about this then is that I can then go in and change the scale. So I'm just going to do a harmonic minor for this guy. And in order to kind of speed this up, what I'm going to do is, I'm, since I've already set this guy up, I'm just going to go in, copy it, and then paste it. That's circuit two. That's going to be the Pioneer AS1, and that'll be the mini log. So what I'll need to do is go in here, and then just change the channel. So that'll be synth number two. Go in here, pick the AS1, assign it to channel three. And then on the last one, we're going to go in and pick the uh, mini log, and I have that set up to channel four. Okay, I'll pick a different channel. Okay, it's a different sound. Okay. Um, one thing that you can do to kind of keep things clean is just go ahead and just rename these things. Okay. And then we'll go here and then just rename this guy to circuit. And rename this one to circuit as well. Now, if you wanted to get really fancy, you could go in and colorize these. So I know that that's the pink synth. I know that's the green synth on the circuit and the AS1. Don't really have a red, so I'm just gonna pick a bright orange. And then the mini log is kind of gray. So I'll go and pick a gray. All right, so cool. Those are my four synths. Uh, what's great now is everything is set to har harmonic minor, so I can play these. Go to each one, go to keys. All right, cool. Um, so the next thing that we can do uh, is now we can sequence these guys. So what we'll do is we'll go to the scene mode, and now they're all loaded into bank one, or into bank A. Um, we're gonna create a new pattern. We'll just take this guy drag it on. And one of the things I like to do is I just like to just go ahead and hit play. And so what we'll do is go to the pattern view. And what we're going to do is, see, we've named all our devices. So what we want to do is go ahead and lay down a beat for the circuit. Um, what we can do is we can test the sound. Okay. Go into key mode. And so we, everything is set to the scale that we picked. So let's just do here, here, And then we back out and go pick our AS1, go to key mode. Okay. Go to the mini log, just test that sound. I'm just going to do a long note on this one. Okay. And go to the last circuit, pick that guy. Sorry about that. Change it to 132nd notes. Zoom in a little bit. Change your synth sounds. So that's kind of the gist of it. I'm going to go ahead and stop all this. So, again, within your sample view, this is where you set up your synths. Just hit this three buttons, and that's where you can set up your MIDI. 
And again, the big thing is just to load that um, kind of just placeholder sample. Um, again, I wish what they could do is just actually have the ability of just setting this to MIDI so I don't have to do all that stuff. Anyway, hope that helps.